Yeah, I need things on my feet sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have them on a brow. Hashtag organisational porn. Who would say no to Bambi socks for 100 pennies? Hey all balls, it's Amy and it is less than two weeks until I go to America to spend the summer working in a summer camp teaching arts and crafts and hoping that the kids think I'm cool. As promised, I'm going to do a haul for you showing you all the things that I've been buying in preparation for my trip over the last month or so. There's a lot of stuff. I'm just going to put it out there. I got some clothes, I got some toiletries, I got some makeup because, you know, and I got some travel type things also. So let's get started because we've got a lot to get through. Okay, so the first thing I got I'm really excited about and it was these packing cubes. If you do not know what packing cubes are, they are basically like an OCD person's best friend for traveling because you basically can fold or roll all of your stuff up inside of these. They have like a little zip, they're fabric bags and then you stack them on top of one another inside your luggage to stop everything from like moving around and getting mixed up and out of place. So this way you get to separate out like different items of clothing and they are organized where they are meant to be and that just speaks to me. So these ones are from eBags. I got them from Amazon. They are this beautiful green color and they come in a bunch of different colors. These are the medium ones. I got a pack of three medium ones because I feel like these are a good size. And I think they were about £20 for three, but totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. Next, I did a little stop off at Primark, as you do. So in my spring clothing haul video that I did recently, I bought a bunch of like graphic t-shirts from Primark that I just love. And yeah, I went and just bought more because I have no self-control. The first one is this grey vest top and it has like vest sleeves and a racer back top. It says I don't sweat, I sparkle and it's got Tinkerbell on it and obviously this was just calling to me. I also got this Harry Potter t-shirt with all the different house logos for Hogwarts on there. Yeah, just awesome. And then the bestest one of all is white one and it says you know nothing Jon Snow. That was a terrible attempt at a northern accent. I apologize to the people of the north for that one. Game of Thrones quote, and I love Game of Thrones, so I love this. Oh. And like I said in my last video, these t-shirts have such a nice feel to them and they like have such a nice flattering fit. So I could totally justify buying more. Not that I needed to justify it, I would do it anyway, but you know, sometimes it's nice to justify things. Then I bought this plain white t-shirt with just a scoop neck for tie-dye. And then I bought the world's most awesome flip-flops. I wasn't even gonna buy flip-flops, but when I saw these, I was like, yes. Oh, look! They've got Sleeping Beauty on them and Prince Philip, and they're magical and wonderful, and I absolutely love them. Look at them. They were two pound. What kind of human being would I be if I left these there when they were only two pound? Then I bought an array of vest tops, just plain ordinary vest tops. They're quite a nice length. They come down quite far like past the muffin top, which I appreciate. I'm wearing one now because, you know, I just, I couldn't wait any longer. The suspense was killing me. But I also bought a blue one, this kind of rusty orange colour, and this kind of like dusty pink colour also. And then for good measure, I picked up a packet of trainer socks because they were only £2.50 for seven pairs. Next, I hit Madeline and I got a few pairs of these stretchy cotton shorts. They have an elasticated waist, which is great for us girls who like to stuff our faces, and are just generally stretchy. These are a really nice length, appropriate for when you're working with children. So I got black ones, grey ones, and red ones, and they were only £3 each. I also got another vest top while I was at Madeline, and this is just um, a red one. This is a little bit longer than the Primark ones. It's like super long, could be a dress, but clearly isn't, because you would see my pants. While I was at Madeline, I also bought new underwear. Those of you who are new to this channel, yes, we overshare here, sorry. I just think they're so pretty. I mean, they're lace, and they have like little 
flower patterns on them and they look super comfy. I don't know, you need underwear in life. I got three pairs for seven pound, which, you know, not bad. Yeah, next was another bargain and oh, just so much love for these. It's a pair of socks from Tesco and look, 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 they have Bambi on one and flower on the other and they are so cute. They were only a pound, a pound. Then I got these leggings. They are just plain black leggings from Next. These were 10 pounds. I just felt that leggings were necessary. You know, they're just so versatile and super comfy. These ones are great because they're nice and thin, so I won't be sweating and disgusting. But also, you totally can't see through them because there's nothing worse than a pair of leggings that you can literally see your butt cheeks through. Then I got these trainers from TK Maxx. I really needed some practical shoes because I don't know if you guys have worked this out yet, but I'm not exactly a practical shoe kind of gal. But even though they are flats and even though they are trainers, I still think that they are quite cute because they have like the purple laces and the green here and they're a little bit funky and they, they look super comfy and soft so I suppose I can deal with flat shoes for a little while. And the RRP was £60 and I got them for £39.99 so that is what I will be wearing at camp. I also bought another bikini. I know I just bought one that I showed you in my spring haul video, but that one was halter neck and this one has like substantial straps to keep everything up where it's meant to be. No slippage, no accidental boob display because you know, I'm working with children. This one, like my other one, is by the designer Floozy and it came from Debenhams. And I think that the pattern is really cute. It has like roses and little birds on it and it has a bow in the middle and some frills here. The bikini bottoms are so fancy. They have little ties on the side with stripes. They are a little bit more skimpy than what they looked in the picture. So I'm just gonna wear some like surf shorts over the top. Bag of doom, it's ripped and broken because there's so much stuff in it. Okay, so now moving on to toiletries and I didn't think I had that many until I just realized that I do. So this is what I got at Superdrug. I got some baby wipes because whenever I travel, I like to take baby wipes just for the plane and general in case things are not clean or in case I'm not clean and I can't have access to a shower because you never know. I've had some weird experiences. These ones are by My Little Star. It's not a brand I know. It could be Superdrug's own brand, I'm not sure, but I was totally sold by the plastic poppy thing. Then I got some shower cream. This is the Redox Feel Glam with Berry Burst. Looks like it would be tasty, but obviously I'm not going to eat it, so I don't know why that's relevant. And also got some Head & Shoulders shampoo. This one is Flirty Fragrant Hair. I'm not entirely sure what that means. This whole huge bottle was like £1.50, so yeah, I was all over that. I got some Colgate toothbrushes, I thought I'd buy a pack of three in case I lose some, destroy some somehow, a spider carries one off, I don't know, I like to be prepared. And obviously can't go anywhere without my simple face wipes, that's just a given. Also while I was in Superdrug, I picked up two plug adapters, there was like a special offer going on so it was buy one get one half price. So I think I paid less than £5 for both of them, which, I don't know, I'm not in the habit of buying a lot of plug adapters, so I can't tell you if that's a good deal or not. Seemed like a good deal to me. Then I went to Boots and bought more toiletries. Okay, I picked up this little simple spotless skin blackhead eliminating face scrub. Um, I don't know, it just appealed to me for some reason. I've never tried it before. I don't know why I feel the need to try it now when I'm about to embark on a new adventure as if there's not enough change in my life. Why do I need to bring in a new skincare product? I don't know. Apparently I'm living life on the edge, but it just, it just called me for some reason. So yeah. I stocked up on my favourite deodorant, the Mitchum Unscented 48 Hour Protection, because I was told that they don't have roll-on deodorant in America. They just have like stick deodorant or spray. And I'm a roll-on girl through and through, so I was like, it's better to stock up and go with like six deodorants than it is to get there and not be able to find this anywhere. And I picked up this Lee Stafford dehumidifying spray for my hair. 
I have definitely mentioned this more than once on this channel. It is like liquid gold and I will not go anywhere humid or hot without this stuff in my case. It really does help prevent frizz and keep my hair from doing anything crazy or, you know, bizarre. Then I just picked up a few necessary makeup items that I was running low on. I have my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. I love this stuff. It is my favourite concealer. And I got my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I got it in a bit of a darker shade. This one is Beige Rose. It doesn't really match my skin right now, but the hope is that when I tan, it will match my skin. I know that's not the right way to buy foundation, but I was really confused and rushed and tired when I bought this and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be tanned. What's gonna happen? So I don't know. Uh, this is probably not a good thing, but we'll see. Oh, this is our last bag, hooray! I picked up some jogging bottoms slash sweatpants, whatever you want to call them, from Sports Direct, just in case it's a little bit cold one night when I'm sitting around the campfire eating my s'mores. You know, all the good life things of camp. I got these black ones from Miss Fiori. They are full length long ones with like pink piping on them and a pink drawstring. And then I got another pair of full length black ones these are by LA Gear and they don't have like pockets or anything fancy going on with them or any pink. They're just pretty plain. But these Miss Fiori ones were, hold the phone, four pound. And these LA Gear ones were eight pound. So I feel like it was a steal. It was a steal. I've worked up a little bit of sweat going through that because I mean, that was a lot of stuff. So if you did enjoy the video or you like haul videos and want to see more then go ahead and give this a big thumbs up and for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel already go ahead and do that. I know I'm going away in a few weeks but I have plenty of wonderful videos pre-recorded. There are some oddities among them, I'm not gonna lie. You definitely want to be a part of it, trust me. And for those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much. You are part of the Oddball family and that is a really, really, truly wonderful thing, in my humble opinion. But until then, I'll see you soon. Bye! Why am I doing this? This is not a hat. I'm gonna have a one-arm suntan. Nice. Great. Love to be asymmetrical. Oh, hello, butt cheeks. <laughs> You're not supposed to be making an appearance here. Mountain of spenditure. Uh.